Now, Wisconsin Assembly Speaker Robin Voss is asking the Assembly's Election Committee to investigate the legitimacy of Tuesday's election. This comes as clerks are reviewing their documents, not yet finding a single specific suggestion of any voter fraud. Amanda Quintana has the details. Concerns surfacing about mail-in ballot dumps and voter fraud. These are broad, non-specific claims Assembly Speaker Robin Voss is making tonight as he asks for an investigation into the election. But Madison's clerk has no idea what that could mean. I'm just interested to find out what this is actually referring to. Mary Beth Witzel Bale just finished up canvassing, reviewing all polling station documents from Election Day, finding nothing to back up Voss's allegations. Nothing fraudulent uh, documented. Uh, some ballot jams as absentees are fed into the machines, things like that, uh, but no documentation or anything to be investigated. Representative Mark Spritzer agrees, saying he doesn't think there's anything for the Assembly Committee on Campaigns and Elections, a committee he's a member of, to look into. I think Speaker Voss is making a ridiculous attempt to cast doubts on the results of the presidential election, and uh, it's totally irresponsible. Spritzer says with record absentee voters, it's no surprise it took poll workers time to count those ballots. But he thinks what Voss is trying to do isn't just about Tuesday's results. I worry that uh, this isn't just going to be an investigation, but that Speaker Voss is going to try to change state law to make it harder to vote absentee or uh, make it harder to count legally cast votes. The Wisconsin Elections Commission confident in the process, saying they too know of no evidence of voter fraud from any municipalities across the state. We had observers from both political parties watching what was taking place and we haven't received complaints from the observers about anything on election day. Amanda Quintana, News 3 Now. Now it takes about a month for the clerk's office to manually go through those voter rolls. If you mailed in or dropped off your absentee ballot, you'll soon be able to verify that at myvote.wi.gov that it was in fact counted.